standard 5th evs1 chapter 7 let us solve our own problems dear students what problems can you identify from the following picture first the girl says my area gets water only thrice a week in the second picture you can see the boy he is saying the garbage has piled up i have to walk to school with my nose covered in the third picture you can see a girl riding a bicycle and what does she have to say i feel like a riding my bicycle to school every day but there is no bicycle track and in the fourth picture you see a boy who is saying my father has to visit the taluka place every day for some dispute over the land so all these are issues in civic life we have got civic issues we encounter many problems in our civic life these problems causes inconvenience sometimes our life is also thrown into disorder if we turn a blind eye towards problems they become worse so it is best to solve them in time the problems faced by people in cities and villages can be called problems or issues in civic life it is important to be able to identify such issues one person alone cannot solve such problems they can be solved only through everyone's efforts and cooperation solving disputes disputes arising over various issues in our towns and villages can also be a problem the well-being of a village is affected by constant disputes so nobody likes disputes what does it lead to it leads to loss of unity and obstructs the progress of the village if the disputes are not serious then they can be solved in what way yeah they can be solved locally by speaking to the parties involved okay in villages there is a panchayat system where people can get together and solve their disputes however if the dispute is not solved in this way it has to be taken to the appropriate bodies or the courts do you know since 2007 the mahatma gandhi dispute free village mission is being implemented in our state the aim of this scheme is that villages should be able to solve their own disputes through peaceful discussions this method of solving disputes increases harmony in the village villages which have solved their disputes by using this method also get a peace award in cities mohalla committees help to solve disputes so problem solving is a very effective way and this can maintain peace in the society have you heard about these attempts at solving problems anywhere let's take one example of hivri bazar in the village of hivri bazar in amadnagar district water shortage was a big problem this problem was solved with the help and participation of the villagers the problem of animal feed was also solved and now hivri bazar has lush green surroundings so many villages face water shortage you have to find the reason for this and suggest solutions now let's learn about cleaning a village through shramdan the people of khudawadi village in osmanabad district cleaned their village through shramdan 
or voluntary contribution of labor. They decided that everyone should help in cleaning the village. So, what did they do? First, the waste water was dealt with. The garbage was used to make manure using vermiculture. A toilet was built in each house. So this way they successfully accomplished their mission of cleaning their village. Sant Gadge Baba used kirtans to stress the importance of keeping the village clean. He told the people that we cannot make progress without cleanliness, education and self-reliance. He showed people how to clean the village through his own actions. Rashtrasant Tukudoji Maharaj explained the importance of cleanliness through his Gram Gita. And what he has said? Mioni Karavi Gram Safai Nali Mori Thai Thai Haste Parhaste Saf Sarvahi Sahu Kade Marga so, he has made very clear the importance of cleanliness of village and he has explained it very well through his kirtans. So, here you can see Sant Gadge Baba in the first picture and Rashtra Sant Tukudoji Maharaj in the second picture. They gave a message of cleanliness to the society through their work. Newspaper carries several articles about Shramdan. Collect these articles. Discuss the things that can be achieved through it. Can you tell? Do you think that there should be a group of peacekeepers in your school? Yes, why not? If there are some conflicts, then those peacekeepers can help resolve those conflicts. What criteria will you use to select these peacekeepers? Think about it. Which rules will you include in the rule book of, for these peacekeepers? What methods should peacekeepers use to solve your disputes? So, just like our soldiers are defending us, army is there. In our school, you can play an active role of solving disputes. How did you understand that disputes can be solved peacefully? Yes, after learning about the rules and regulations in the previous chapter and now that we have learned that there are problems, we are also learning that they can be solved peacefully by talking to each other, by discussion, not by violence. For a society to be peaceful, the basic needs of all of its sections needs to be met. Each person must get the necessary security. The exploitation in society must stop. Inequality must decrease. Everyone must have the right to participate in public life. By learning the importance of peace, and by using peaceful methods, we can create a peaceful environment in our family, school and community. Do you know students, in order for peace to spread worldwide and for nations to be able to strive for the development of their people, 21 September has been designated by the UN as International Peace Day. On this day in New York, where the United Nations have the headquarters, a bell is rung at 10 o'clock in the morning. This is followed by a few moments of silence. This bell has been made from coins given by people from around 60 nations. So, if you like to know more about this, visit the following website www internationaldayofpeace.org
students always remember if there is peace in the family school and society everyone will benefit peace contributes significantly to progress it creates scope for advances in various fields like business industry education art literature entertainment science and technology in this way peace becomes a social value rather than a personal need so what we have learned one everyone has a responsibility to solve problems in civic life two problems can be solved if everyone cooperates three dialogue and discussion can help solve disputes four disputes can be solved peacefully five if there is peace in the family school and society everyone benefits and last peace is a social value so i hope you have followed this lesson dear students stay safe and keep learning thank you